Prove that for positive integer n, 2 to the 2n minus 1 is divisible by 3. So we're going to use the mathematical induction principle in this problem. And the reason for that is, well, we have n, which is a positive integer. We have an identity we should prove. So that should hint for you to use the induction principle. So if you remember how to use induction, we first have to prove the identity is true for when n equals 1. So let's start with that. So number 1, when n equals 1, the expression becomes 2 to the 2 times 1 minus 1, which is simply 3. And since 3 divides 3, the case is true for when n equals 1. So let's look at the second case. Remember that for the second case, we assume that our claim is true for when n equals k, and we use that to prove that this is also true when n equals k plus 1. So when n equals k, assume that 3 divides 2 to the 2n minus 1. This is our inductive hypothesis. And then we prove that when n equals k plus 1, 2 to the 2 times k plus 1 minus 1 is also divisible by 3. So 3 divides that. So we're going to rewrite this side so that we use this thing right here to show that it's divisible by 3. So first, if we just rewrite this, 2 to the 2k plus 1 minus 1 is when you expand this out, 2 to the 2k plus 2 minus 1, g equals 2 to the 2k times 2 to the 2 minus 1. And then we focus on this. So this becomes 4 times, 4 is 2 squared, 4 times 2 to the 2k minus 1. So we're going to rearrange this so that it looks like our inductive hypothesis in the beginning. Remember that it was this right here. So we got to make this look like this somehow. So what we're going to do is we already have the 2 to the 2k here. So we're going to rewrite this as 4 times 2 to the 2k minus 1. So since from here we already know that 2 to the 2k minus 1 is divisible by 3, we know that this term right here is divisible by 3. But in order to make this look like this, we have 4 times 2 to the 2k minus 4, something that we don't have here. Since we don't have the minus 4 in here, we're going to add 4 here. And then we carry the minus 1 back here. So when you simplify this, this becomes 4 times 2 to the 2k minus 1 plus 3. And you can see that this term is divisible by 3. And 3 is obviously divisible by 3. So this whole term right here is divisible by 3. So we have shown that if the identity holds for n equals k, then it also holds for n equals k plus 1. Since we have shown that the identity holds for n equals 1, as we did in the beginning, our induction is complete. So t to the 2n minus 1 is always divisible by 3 for positive integers n. Thanks for watching our videos, and if you have any questions or comments, please let us know at Math Express. Happy learning!